Coco's outfit that she picked out today. Well, I'm kind of scared because I don't want to like use this and then I don't actually like it. So you gotta do a taste test. Yeah. yeah. And welcome to today's vlog. I am excited for today. We're dedicating the day to just more baby prep, basically, kind of like cleaning, organizing. We need to wash all of her clothes. I do want to give a shout out to Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin Free & Clear for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually gonna head up now and grab all the stuff that we're gonna wash so I can kind of show you guys. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is Coco's outfit that she picked out today. Do you need me to help you? Yeah. Here, I'll help you. Guess what? Today we're gonna clean all of baby sister's stuff. Where is baby sis? Mama. You didn't know? She's in my tummy. She's head. Yeah, in mama's tummy. Mm -hmm. Should we go gather up all her stuff? Yeah. And take yeah. a basket up there. I literally don't know what happened to me yesterday, yeah. but I just yeah. started feeling like yeah. crap, yeah. basically. Obviously, I haven't felt yeah. amazing through yeah. this whole pregnancy, yeah. but yesterday and today, I just literally feel like awful so i'm kind of getting stressed about all the stuff that we still need to do i have pretty much everything i need for the baby but there's still just like little things that we need to do like washing clothes and all that stuff so taking the laundry basket up there to gather everything yeah someone is being a little bit loud today so i have all these blankets I ended up getting her a couple new swaddles so i want to wash those some other blankets her bedding Okay, I don't know why I thought I could fit everything in one basket, so I will be back, I guess, to get the actual clothes. Parker's grabbing the rest of the clothes. I think we should be able to fit everything in one load, but this is what we're using to wash everything. This is the Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin Free & Clear detergent. So this has no dyes, no perfumes. It's dermatologist tested. It's hypoallergenic. It's made for sensitive skin and also certified 100% by Skin Safe. So it has been reviewed and verified by healthcare professionals, dermatologists, past four different clinical tests. And I'm excited to have something that is like meant for everybody versus when we had Cove, I got a special like baby detergent. And honestly, it's just too much of a pain to like wa actually wash your baby's clothes separately with like something that's meant for babies. So I want something that's just like more clean ingredients that we can use for all of our clothes because besides like the first time you ever wash anything, after that you're not probably gonna be washing any of like anybody's clothes separately. So I'm throwing everything in. Today's our normal laundry day anyway. So we're washing the baby's clothes and also just like all of our regular clothes. And it's nice because we can just use this for everybody. So I am gonna have a link down below if you guys want to check it out. Parker just brought in all the rest of her clothes. So I'm throwing these in here. I actually got her a few new outfits. Hi, what's on your head? Hey, Yeah, that goes with baby sis's Thanksgiving PJs that were yours, but now they're gonna be for her. I'll show you guys a couple new outfits that I got her also really quick. Anyways, I am gonna have the link for this down below if you guys want to check it out. There's no preservatives or anything. It's gentle on skin, but still like powerful on dirt to clean everything. Okay, thank you for helping me. Okay, so I'll show you guys also a couple of the little sets that I got her. This is like zero to one month. It honestly looks kind of big. It's like tiny, but for a little baby, I don't know. It seems like it's going to be kind of big. So I got her this in this color. I also got it in white. I think Cove shoved it in there. You're so good at helping mom. You're helping. Yeah, you're helping mama. And then I also got her two of this set. So I have yellow and I also got pink. And then in the short sleeve set, I have pink and white. So got her a couple new outfits. And then I think pretty much all we like really need is more diapers. You're so good at helping. I think it might be full. Oh, here's the other one. Hold on, I was gonna show that to the camera. Here's the pink one that I got. So these are like supposed to be newborn size. Okay, he's still good at helping your mama. Oh, thank you, views. Yeah. Thank you. All right, next I have a few other things that I need to like wash and sterilize like the binkies and the bottles. I wanna get that done today. And then I feel like I'm just like running out of time to do everything. We still have like four or five weeks. I'm getting stressed out. 
So this is the current state of this room. Need to pick up a few things. Have some stuff to like take downstairs, which I'm gonna make Parker do because going up and down the stairs is so hard. <laughs> and it has to go all the way down to the basement and I'm not going all the way down there and then all the way back up here. I think we could probably put this in our room now. We don't need it in there for a little bit, obviously, but we can do that. And then I also, today want to just like deep clean the upstairs which shouldn't really be too much work mostly i want to go through like this cabinet this closet we can definitely like pick up the playroom i'm not that worried about this room just because whether i clean it right now or not it's obviously just gonna keep getting messy because cove plays in here all the time and i think that we cleaned this closet mm, this could definitely use some work actually but we did clean this like kind of recently where we just went through and made sure we had like everything that we need so basically i can just like straighten up this area maybe like swap some of cove's toys out and then i do want to pick up her bathroom i think i can probably do that right now it's not that messy there's like a few things that i can put away and then i also do want to clean her room and i want to like go through the drawers of everything and just have everything like super organized so today we're gonna do the upstairs that's the goal shouldn't be too much and yeah i want to get all the clothes washed put those back and i feel like that should be good organize everything, sterilize everything, and put away the clothes. Those are the goals for today. I ain't got no time for romance But baby, I don't want to lead you on Not looking for something steady Alright, this bathroom is finished. Moving on to Cove's room. We still have the poster board on her windows. It has not helped anything. She still gets up at like 6.45 every day, which sucks, but I feel like we've literally done like, I don't know what else to do to try and make her sleep in longer. We've done like shorter naps or put her down later or yeah, completely blacked out the room. Nothing helped, so we just accepted it, I guess. But yeah, lighting in here is not gonna be good because I'm not gonna take those down to film. Her room usually, this is like as messy as it gets, which this is not horrible. Basically, it's just putting like pillows back and then putting her books away is like 90% of the mess. So usually when we read at night, I tell her to like put these away herself, but she must have been playing over here. So I'm gonna pick this up, which should be quick. And then I do wanna just like go through her drawers, which I kind of do often just to make sure that all her clothes and everything fit and we don't have like random extra stuff in there. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine out, show me what you can do. Make a move. Alright, this room is finished. Closet's pretty much as organized as it's gonna get. We keep like random stuff in here, but moving on to I think next I'll do like this thing and the closet. Downstairs? Yes, sir. Upstairs? Yes, sir. Say dog. Yes, Did you already do that one? You want to take off your necklace? That's cute. It's probably almost your lunch time. All right, so this is finished. This is like mostly done. Parker has all his video game stuff that he didn't really feel like organizing, but we at least like straightened it up. And then, oh, it's actually lunch time for Cove. But last thing we're gonna do up here is I just have a couple things to take downstairs. This, this, I swapped out this thing so we can put some clothes on it for her later and i'm gonna have parker take that downstairs making a lot of progress that's baby sister's bed do you remember when you used to sleep in there yeah okay you can get in here's coco's lunch today she's already eaten most of it she has some falafel grape ketchup avocado and corn then i'm gonna make that salad that i showed you guys the other day in case anybody missed it because it is so good okay so i'm making it a little bit different today because I have a dressing already, but we need kale. I feel like I probably, this bag lasts like two salads maybe. We need sunflower seeds and hemp seeds. Are you eating mom's beans? Yeah, you are eating mommy's beans. And then I have white beans. I've been trying to figure out how much is like the perfect amount to put in here. You don't have to actually measure. I usually don't, but this is like about a third of a cup. And then usually I make the dressing, which is lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of maple syrup, and Dijon mustard. And basically just like, I don't have measurements for that. You just like mix it together and see if it's good. But I have this dressing that my sister got me. I've seen everybody talk about this. My mom said that it was really good on this salad, but I'm kind of scared because 
because I don't want to like use this and then I don't actually like it because I've been craving this salad forever. But we were gone and I didn't have the stuff for it before. So I'm going to mix it. A lot of people put avocado in this too. I think I will use that. But then I'm going to add some lemon juice too. Anyways, very easy, healthy, good lunch. I'm gonna have like whatever else with it because obviously it's not like a lot. But I'm gonna eat this and then put Cove down for a nap. And then I might actually try to clean the basement today too. Kind of just like I did upstairs. The thing that's gonna take longer is like the main floor, but I feel like I should be able to get the basement done too today because there's not like tons and tons down there. So that is my next project after she's napping. Okay, so Cove is napping, I ate my lunch. So we need to go downstairs and clean up, but Parker just finished editing our last vlog. I watched that, made the thumbnail, got it ready to go up. He's out mowing the lawn, and I decided I'm gonna be a nice wife, and I'm gonna make him a sandwich, which is something I've probably done like three times in the almost six years that we have been married. But he's mowing the lawn, and I'm like pretty sure he didn't eat lunch, and it's 1.30, and I don't know how he like skips meals. Literally, I eat at like 11.30 with Cove. <laughs> I'm always like dying for lunch, but he just has to put up with so much for me right now, being pregnant and not feeling good and taking care of a toddler. So I'm doing this nice little gesture, making him a BLT. He's been obsessed with these lately, so now my bread in the toaster. This is bacon that can just go in the microwave, which is good because it's all that I want to do to it. Easy as place in microwave, microwave two to three minutes. Enjoy crispy bacon. Oh wait, place unopened bacon packet in microwave. Oh, two to two and a half minutes. Wow, that's convenient. Bought my bread, got my lettuce. I'm gonna put these away. pieces is enough. Put on the top piece, cut it in half. All done. <laughs> what the? You made me a BLT? Mm-hmm. Thanks, babe. You gotta do a taste test. Are you filming? Yeah. You're documenting this, right? Yeah. <laughs> the first time that Aspen has ever made me. No, I said I've probably done it like three times. And, <laughs> and I'm... Almost six years of being married. Right? What? So this is a big moment. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You gotta do a taste test. No oh, mother, wasn't enough for you, I'm sorry. Wow. Best one you ever had? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm losing a little bit of my momentum. <laughs> I wanted to do the basement today, but I'm so tired. So I'm gonna finish this, like putting, putting these away. I'm waiting for the next load to be finished. I have a couple more white things in there. So I'm gonna reorganize this. And then the top floor will be like 100% done as soon as Parker carries this and that thing downstairs. Actually not 100% because I didn't do the playroom yet. But like I said, even if I deep clean that, it's gonna be messy. So I'm going to put all of these back so these are all the clothes she has pretty much and her blankets quite a few blankets in here Everything finished. I still have a couple like little tiny things, but I got the dresser organized. I need to still um, like sanitize all the binkies and bottles. I was waiting for more bottles to come I ordered and those are here so I can do that now. But I wanted to show you guys what we're making for dinner because I've been craving it. I think it's so good and it's like super easy. So Parker's over here sauteing our veggies. We have broccoli and zucchini. And then I have this microwave rice, which makes things very easy. And then I'm going to make a little sauce. So I need a bowl. And the sauce is super easy. And then I just have these chow mein noodles that you put on top. And you just mix the sauce with the veggies. And you also could do like chicken with this. Oh. I hope that this is enough. I'm supposed to have one cup of veggie broth and I think this is all I have. 
I don't think it's a cup. You just mix in water for the rest. Finish it up to a cup. Of... I mean, I think it's like exactly a cup. Oh, yeah, Perfect. it is. I should have read what this says. Yeah, eight ounces. You just wasted that cup. My bad. Yeah, I did. Got that dirty for no reason. So, one cup veggie broth, two tablespoons soy sauce, and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. And that's all. Let's stick this in the microwave. And mix it. Okay, you put it in with your veggies and you bring them to a boil and then that's pretty much it. So this is like a 15 minute dinner, which is really nice because we've had a busy day. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Super easy and quick. I think that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. I feel good about everything that we got done. Like I said, I still have a couple like little things to do, but I think I'll definitely wait until it's like actually closer to when we have the baby. Thank you again to Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin Free & Clear for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have their link down below if you guys want to check it out and I'll also have it on the screen. So that's where you can go to purchase the Sensitive Skin Free & Clear Laundry Detergent. So make sure you guys check that out. And we're gonna eat dinner, hang out, relax. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.